So we moved here from downtown. Uh, we were members at Houston's First. That was really our community down there. And that was actually the hardest thing to leave downtown when we moved to, the, to Spring, was that community. It left a little hole in our, in our heart a little bit because we didn't have that group that you saw every week that you knew and you kind of sat with in church. When we came to Faith Bridge, we kind of had to had to you know find a group to, to meet with Jump right and in. and um, it just takes time to really build relationships. So Josh and Tiffany Ross have been with us for probably two years now. Maybe three. I, don't I think. Know. Yeah. Uh, we have a good time when we're together. We're living life. We all have kids. We all work. We you know we're in the same boat and mm -hmm. we're trying to navigate this together while growing closer to God and having each other as a support in that um, I think is very helpful. And then it shows how much more helpful it is in a time when there is a disaster. So when Hurricane Harvey hit, um, Sunday comes and the water starts getting closer to the house. You don't think that you're ever gonna have a boat come to your house to pick you up at the front door. It happened like that. Like in a matter of 30 minutes or less, we had at least a foot of water in our house. It started seeping in over in the corners. And then when I looked out the window, I see the water is like up to here. It's not down here. And I thought, this is scary. And then I just started smelling the sewage. So like we made the decision to leave. I looked out the window, there's a boat coming around. So we flagged them down. And Josh had called John and said, hey, come get us. You know, I'm trying to like hold it together a little bit when we're like starting to flag down a boat to come get us out of our house, right? I'm walking around trying to grab a couple extra things and the wood floors are floating on the water and I'm trying to stomp on this. It was like being in a movie. It was just crazy. We called our grow group, uh, John Bourne, and said, hey man, we're coming out of the neighborhood, come pick us up. That was the moment when I got off the boat and I saw John that I almost started crying just because that uh, level of comfort and I knew that we were going to be taken care of. Yeah, it was, it was really emotional like to, to show up and have these people there to care for you. And, and so we grabbed them and I took, uh, took them home and we said, hey, you guys just stay with us until this is all over. The next day after the waters finally receded, uh, the Ross's house was able to get cleaned. So I sent a text to all the guys in, uh, in our group. Our grow group came over on Wednesday and started doing all of the knocking out walls and stuff. And it was amazing because everyone showed up. We had, we had like 20 guys here. And we got out here at 10 o'clock in the morning and by three o'clock in the afternoon, this house was done. And throughout the whole week, we went from our house to someone else's house to someone else's house. And we all just kind of got together and for someone that went through this, it kind of puts perspective in your mind about, you know, you know, like, we can get through this. It's touching to see everybody care so much about each other, and we use our own strengths. Like you said, not just with the one member in our group that we wanted to care for and support, but, you know, my uncle and somebody else's aunt, and it was whoever needed help, mm -hmm. the whole group went. And even Josh and Tiffany, who are trying to deal with their own house, are still going out and helping, you know, with when we needed them. and. That really is a testament to the group on who they are. I was overcome with emotion when you start to think about how much love everybody is just giving you. You know, that, that was the biggest drawback of leaving downtown for us was yeah. leaving our community behind. And so, you know, when you pray for community, you know, God doesn't just send a community to you all right. the time. Sometimes he gives you a situation where you really have to build community. And that's what this was. It was really just a chance to really build our relationships with our grow group. And um, there's no comparison to what it means to have people right there living next to you that you're doing life with. To see them all step up um, and come over uh, showed us how much they loved us. And I think that's what's really important. When we met people in our own neighborhood, you know, just building these relationships, um, there's no comparison to what it means to have people right there living next to you that you're doing life with. Yeah, it's been a, we've been praying for since we moved up here that this was, you know, what we find and, you know, I think we found it now.